Hello, my name is Fabian Levat. I am a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'll show you how to manage IAM service quotas, including examples on how to request an increase using the service quotas console. Service quotas enable you to view and manage your quotas for AWS services from a central location. Quotas are the maximum values for the resources, actions, and items in your AWS account. Each AWS service defines its quotas and establishes default values for those quotas. Depending on your business needs, you might need to increase your service quota values. From the service quotas homepage, confirm that you are in the US East 1 region. Click on AWS Services from the left menu. Search for IAM and click the link to the IAM Service Quotas page. For adjustable IEM quotas, you can request a quota increase. Smaller increases are automatically approved in service quotas and are completed within a few minutes. Larger requests about the maximum auto approved increase are submitted to AWS support. You can track your request case in the AWS support console. For additional details, including default and maximum auto approval quotas, please refer to the IAM user guide documentation page under Reference Quotas and review the default quotas for IAM Entities table. Let me show you a few examples. First, we'll request an increase to the Manage Policies Per Role Quota. Click Request Quota Increase. Enter a number for the new quota value. In our case, we'll go from 10 to 12. Click Request again. And here you can see the status is pending. For more details, click on the pending link. To close the dialog, simply click close or click view quota details. After five minutes, we can refresh the page again and see that our quota increase request was automatically approved. For a second example, we request an increase to the roles per account quota. Search for roles, click roles per account, click request quota increase, and we'll enter a number that is above the auto approval value. In our case, 5001. Enter the new quota value and click request. In this case, a status will change from pending to quota requested. Because this request was over the auto approval value, a new support case has been created for you to track the progress of the request. You can now track the status of your request by clicking the support case number and accessing the support center console. Here's some additional resources to get you started, including the IM and STS quotas page, the service quotas console, and the service quotas documentation. Thank you.